Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hey honey, how you doing? So today in true Maya fashion, we are going to get into some deep-ish, okay? So grab yourself a snack a ski a little drink, relax, and let's get into it. All right, y'all, the situation for filming is not great right now. I left my tripod at Lexi's house and I'm sitting on a random bin because I don't have my chair here yet. This is where I'm moving. I kind of had it in my last vlog, but it's kind of a little bit more done yet. I'm done now. So yeah, bear with me. <laughs> I hear a lot of people say that they met the right person, but at the wrong time right person wrong time and i've never really understood this thought process or really believed it and i have a lot of reasons for that uh, for one thing we have such a small amount of time on this planet and life is really short so if i've already missed the person i'm supposed to be with because of a time restraint what holistic full life experience am i getting at this point People all come into our lives for a reason. They stay in our lives for a reason. They leave for a reason. We may not understand at the time, but all this has some kind of purpose. These experiences of finding love and breaking up all impact us in a specific way in order to teach us something, as little or significant as these lessons may be. Your life ends up being changed by every relationship that you have whether it be good or bad, every new love or breakup has a little bit of each. And this may be an unpopular opinion, but in 2022, so many people, especially in my age range, view love as just another game. It has been normalized as a part of getting to know someone to play games with them. Playing hard to get, playing hot or cold, playing bait and switch. And if everyone else is doing it, we fall into the trap as well because who wants to be the one single person being vulnerable and real? And I have even like dabbled in this thought process before and almost got sucked in. And now that I'm doing a little bit more healing and becoming more authentic me, as cringy as that sounds. I am saying right now that I refuse to be a part of this game. I refuse to do it. I, I'm stepping out, I'm backing up, bye bitches. Because in no way, shape or form does playing these games serve us. We all end up losing in the end, no matter how much fun you have well doing it or how many people that pissed you off you end up hurting. We all end up losing in the end. Playing games, as insignificant as it may seem when you're first dating, is still intentional manipulation. With these games, you're establishing a reality that you don't want and saying things that you don't mean, destroying the trust and the chance of having an authentic relationship. Ultimately, playing games destroys the reality that we desire. I won't play games because whether we like to admit it or not, people are all still human. And whether or not you show up to play the game on the first or the sixth date, you are playing around with a person's unique story that they bring with them, let alone playing yourself. You're playing yourself. Right person, wrong time does not happen or exist if you aren't playing games and have the maturity to see what's in front of you. When you're out dating, don't just do it for a story or for the simple reason for looking like you can pull anyone and be a so-called bad bitch or a fuckboy. Do it for you and for what you're going to gain from seeing somebody. And if you're playing games while doing that, you're actually not going to gain anything especially long term. There is so much more to life than having a filler so you don't have to feel like you're gonna be alone for the rest of your life. Value your time as much as anyone else's and see that if the right person hasn't come into your life yet and it feels like the perfect time, this also does not exist. There is a reason for it and there's more things to be worked through. Real love does not know the boundaries of time and will always show up at a certain time for a reason. 
Sometimes it shows up in the most unexpected places because love doesn't know the boundaries of geography and space. In looking for this love, you do want to have your strong boundaries and standards, but always maintain a honesty from the very beginning. Because the moment that you actually embrace your truth and what you actually want, you are free to see their reaction to your true self without playing mind games. And that's going to save you a lot of time. You're going to figure out if they vibe with you after one date instead of after months of being a fake person and trying to reel them in and then realizing that they don't really match what you want in a partner. This honesty really does take away that frustration of wondering where they stand or what they want because you're being fully real and so they know what you want, so they're going to react to that in the, in the way that's right for them. This is just the fastest way to get clarity with honesty and transparency. And even though we are sometimes so tempted to, do not mirror them. If they're playing games and being shady AF, don't play the games with them. Don't step down to their level and play their games and lose. You want to like walk the heck away, okay? At this point, don't do it. Because even though it seems like it might be entertaining, it's gonna end up screwing you over, okay? Sometimes being vulnerable is hard and it's easier to just play around and keep somebody at arm's length. And, and sometimes we think that it's mysterious and alluring to have games played on us or to play games, but it's really not in the long run. People can really sense that you're not being your genuine true self and the right partner is going to flee at this, okay? If you're playing games with someone and they're just going along with it, do you really wanna be with that person? Because they're very gullible to, to begin with and you should question their sanity, obviously. And who you really are may not be compatible with that person that you're playing games with. And it's eventually, your true self is eventually going to bleed out. Whether you like it or not, you will get comfortable and you'll start to be yourself and it all goes downhill from there. And then you ended up wasting a lot of months and years and who all, who knows how long you've been playing these games for. How can a couple grow together in the future if everything is built on lies to begin with? Can anyone in 2022 just be themselves and not place expectations of time, place, and financials on love. I know it's really hard not to, but love does not know the boundaries of these expectations and will most likely confuse the heck out of you when it comes along anyways. Find a best friend and fall in love when the time comes. Until that happens, when you're dating, just be your true self. Try not to play petty games with your self or with other people because if you're playing them, you're playing yourself as well. Live authentically because it is good for your health, okay? That is my rant for y'all today, okay? Um, my feet are fully asleep because I'm sitting on them. So I'm going to end this video before they fall off. And I hope you guys enjoyed this rant for today. Um, oh, mama, that, that hurts. Okay. <laughs> I will be seeing you next week and I hope you have a great week and until next time, have a good one.